Hi guys, good evening. Um, yeah, so um, here we go. As promised, um, premiered earlier. Um, gonna do a cheese and beer review of my produce I got at Ormskirt Market yesterday. So we got a Lancashire Crumbly. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story about that. And a Lam Lancashire Chili, creamy chili cheese, which not so traditional. So a traditional and a modern um, variant on cheeses. And then the ale we have is a oh show up to the camera 1698 chef and neem um job um so yeah here's the cheese the lancashire and the creamy chili there um so yeah so the one i asked for the the lancashire the crumbly lancashire which is traditional um i said can i have some of that crumbly cheddar please mate and uh and he was like oh no that's crumbly that's crumbly cheddar um, he didn't like that because obviously like crumbly Lancashire is a completely different cheese that's from Lancashire. So yeah, so he wasn't uh, one best pleased about that. But we, we had a laugh about it. So yeah, that was good. Um, so yeah, so here goes. I'm going to try the chilli one first, the non-traditional one. Uh, I'll give you a, a, a good uh, review out of 10. So here it is. Um, quite pale in colour, in color, but obviously the chilli flakes run through it. So here you go. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Very creamy. It is very creamy. Now there's three different types of chili cheese. That is very creamy. You can definitely tell it's a British cheese. It's not so hot um, as like some of the some of the chili cheeses, but it's very nice actually. Um, I'll give that a good 9 out of 10 with a B. Yeah, that was a good, um, good 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10 actually. Hold on. Then we come to the traditional Lancashire, which is very crumbly. As, there we go. Just going to get that my gob. Oh, hold on. Mm. Now, that's a very traditional flavour. Very nice. Um, could do with them some biscuits, but I forgot to get them in Sainsbury's, actually. Um, but, yeah. Mmm. Got it all around in the chops. I'm a messy pot. Um, very nice. With a beer. A good nine out of ten. Yeah, better that one, I think. But that that's for your, that's for, the, for your traditionalists. That is a classic Lancashire cheese. Um, yeah. Good price. I think it was like four sixty for two fifty grams of each or something like that. So very good price. Obviously, you've got a good price. Because you're out of market, so you can pass it and all that. But yeah, the cheese is very good. And I recommend um, this um, 1698 um, beer. Um, give this a quick swig again. Without the cheese. In my beer glass. Mm. London beer glass. Very nice. It's quite a traditional ale. Um... Almost cool. It's probably a bitter, really. Um, it's um, but it's getting on for a bitter. Six point five percent. Uh, it's very nice. Um, quite malty. Um, uh, you can taste the barley in there, and um, yeah. Um, but it's quite hoppy as well. It's it's very very nice rounded ale actually. I give that a good nine out of ten. Chef and Nene, you can't really go wrong with. I've never had a bad beer really off them. Well, there are one or two out there. I had a Whitstable Bay in the week. That was very nice as well. Very lemony, citrusy um, vibe going on. But yeah, um, that's a good, good, another good 9 out of 10. So there you go, folks. Um, get yourselves down to Ormskirt Market. It's every Thursday and Saturday, I believe. Um, but yeah, you, you are in Lancashire. Uh, you can get there by Merseyrail, though. Um, but I do recommend it. It's very, very good. 
there's not only food stalls there, but there is clothes stalls, and obviously Ormskirk itself. Ormskirk is quite underrated, I think. Um, I didn't expect it to be so good, and they got the canal there as well, so do enjoy, uh, do get out. Uh, obviously, it's summer now, so you've got no excuse, really. Um, but yeah, um, enjoy, and I will see you soon with another review or another update to the channel. Um, been a good one tonight, folks, so I'll see you then. Bye for now.